New tonight, we've learned an autopsy has been performed on Matthew Perry, but it could take weeks before we know what caused the Friends star's untimely death. Police discovered the actor yesterday at his home in Los Angeles. Perry was 54 years old. Today, fans kept showing up in the rain in the West Village to pay respects at the site of the famous Friends apartment building. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon is near a growing memorial in the West Village for us tonight. Sonia. Joe, Matthew Perry in his memoir wrote that he wanted to be remembered not just for friends, but as someone who lived well, loved well, and above all, wanted to help people. He certainly touched a lot of lives with his comedy on screen and his sincerity off screen. And while he did die in California, this familiar West Village building will always be associated with friends, and it's why a memorial has developed here for the actor the show's creator said was always the funniest person in the room. I didn't even think to come over here, but I'm happy that we walked down the street. The corner of Bedford and Grove Streets is always filled with tourists taking pictures, but tonight it's also filled with tributes and appreciation, not just for Perry's comedic timing as Chandler Bing. I'm not great at the advice. Can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? But for his honesty and candor about his struggles. It's obviously because I was on Friends, more people will listen to me. So I've got to take advantage of that. I've got to help as many people as I can. Perry opened up last year in his memoir and interview with ABC's Diane Sawyer. At that time, you know, we learned so much about what he went through and like shooting Friends and what he was going through. And none of that was really like through on screen. You didn't really see that. Perry was found dead in a hot tub at his California home. It's still not clear what might have led to his apparent drowning. No drugs were found at the scene and authorities say they don't suspect foul play. Autopsy results are still pending. His main Friends co-stars have yet to release public statements, but the co-creators of Friends say we are shocked and deeply, deeply saddened by our beloved friend Matthew's passing. It still seems impossible. All we can say is that we feel blessed to have had him as part of our lives. And actress Maggie Wheeler, who played Janice, posted, the joy you brought to so many in your too short lifetime will live on. Fans filled the Friends experience in the Flatiron District to relive some of that joy and felt a mix of emotion. A little bit sad, uh, tears were coming. I, yeah, we were thinking about uh, him. He was very funny. Someone at work ate my sandwich. <laughs> well, what did the police say? <laughs> and here in the West Village, there are lots of favorite memories of Chandler. When he got caught up in the box in season four. If we still had that entertainment unit, I would get in there for six hours and think about how I let you down. I love that episode is one of my favorites for sure. We got a box. And I think it's just a great moment between him and Joey. They were always my two favorites. And the autopsy was completed today, but no cause of death determined yet. Toxicology results and other information are still pending. Live in the West Village, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Sonia, thank you. And with so many questions surrounding Perry's death, stay up to date with Eyewitness News. We will bring you details from officials as well as memorials planned in our area. Stay tuned to us online and on the air.